চোখের সামনে কত কি দেখছি ভিক্টোরিয়া শহীদ মিনার লাবণ হ্রদের নতুন পল্লী কল কারখানা নদীর কিনার জাদুঘর আর তারা মন্ডল নকল আকাশের আহু কেতু হাওড়া ব্রিজের হিংসে জাগানো নতুন বিদ্যাসাগর সেতু নতুনের দল বাড়ছে বাহরি সময় যতই সামনে হাঁটে তোমার আমার প্রাণের শহরে নতুন খবর রাজার হাটে নতুনের দল বাড়ছে বাহরি সময় যতই সামনে হাঁটে তোমার আমার প্রাণের শহরে নতুন খবর রাজার হাটে তোমার আমার প্রাণের শহরে নতুন খবর রাজার হাটে তোমার আমার প্রাণের শহরে নতুন খবর রাজার হাটে This is Rajar Hat. Tell me, what's so special about this place? See for yourself. কলকাতার মতো Three hundred years ago, three little villages on the banks of the river Hooghly came alive as a trading post for enterprising British merchants. Job Charnock stepped ashore and one of the most remarkable stories of modern times began. A city began to rise. From a rural market, Calcutta quickly became a booming trade center. a political base from where the british empire spread its wings historic battles were fought won and lost and side by side the city expanded dense jungle gave way to protected moats elegant mansions broad roads a revolution in education began and great institutions sprang up one after the other calcutta became the intellectual center of india Then, like a storm from the west, came the Industrial Revolution. Howrah, on the opposite bank of the river, came to be known as the Sheffield of the East. A pontoon bridge spanned the Twin Cities then. In 1854, the second ever railway train made its maiden run from Howrah to Hooghly with 800 passengers on its rake. And soon enough, the pontoon bridge was replaced by a great steel structure that has become a landmark in Indian history. There was no time to look back. The simple village heart had indeed come a long way. Calcutta was gathering momentum and changing to greater dimensions. It was attracting more people, more vehicles, more trade, more of everything. In fact, West Bengal's urbanization process was being centered around the city 
which recorded a high population growth. And yet, Calcutta is the only city in the world where a Nobel laureate poet hails from an industrialist family, where a barrister prefers to argue in verse, a government servant becomes a freedom fighter, and a commercial artist becomes an Oscar-winning filmmaker. Calcutta's unique location has traditionally made it a window to the world, the principal source of goods and services for the entire eastern and northeastern regions. Today, with the emergence of the tremendous trade dynamics of the Far East and the Asia-Pacific Rim countries, with Hong Kong due to come back into mainland China two years from now, Calcutta's gateway status has become more vital than ever before. Calcutta and West Bengal have been now identified as one of the rapidly growing markets in the world. I firmly believe that by the year 2000, West Bengal can re-emerge as one of the most dynamic, fast-growing regions in India. Chulchi shabi, chulchi shabi. Chulchi shabi, chulchi shabi. At ke tu nee kichu, kiu egi, kiu ba shange, kiu ba pichu pichu. Jaler jonno kal chulchi, shichir jonno jal. शुद्ध गड़ा रास्ता डाके आमर शंगे चल टैंकरे तेल छुटे छे गाड़ी गंजो थे के गाए इलेक्ट्रिकेर तार छुटे छे डाइने बंग बाए बासेर चाकाए बासेर चाकाए छुट छे धुलो काचेर थे के दूरे रास्ता नो तुन जाए ना बास्ता आगेर मोतो घुरे काचेर थे के दूरे शीधे शाड़क दूर के आने तुमार काचे टेने दूरे रचिनी शैखुन मानुष काचेर हाटे किने बोधले गये थे बोधले गये थे अनेक किचु बदल हबे आरो चुलते चाई ले चुल बेशबाई हम बिनायक बरो Prospects for West Bengal are growing every passing day. The state has become the place for investment. Planners all over the world are including West Bengal as a strategic location. I've done my, my part by bringing along over 30 businessmen. Cooperation between Britain, <coughs> British Bank, and the CII has grown substantially, huge. The 21st century, the year 2000, is around the corner now. Can you imagine the possibilities that are opening up? Can you imagine what has to be done to exploit these possibilities? Everything seems to be falling right into place. Opportunities so close to our shores. The welcome resurgence of industry, the latest and the best in urban amenities, facilities and services. Not everything is tangible though. Actually, there's more invisible growth taking place before our eyes than we realize. Right. If Calcutta is to be a key player in this whole business, 
if it is to fulfill expectations as a champion for the people. It needs a place, a place where creativity and enterprise will blossom into an unforgettable experience. In short, it needs Rajarat. New township is being constructed, has been planned to be constructed uh, between the airport and Salt Lake City, Bidhan Nagar, in 2,700 hectares of land. This area is eco-friendly and about 11 kilometers away from Calcutta. As such, the new township and Calcutta will both be benefited and I am confident that within the shortest possible time this project will be completed. Rajarhat will become the new buffer zone, an independent, self-contained city that will have everything under one roof. This is certainly yet another significant step to develop many more centers and thus take the pressure away from Calcutta. This is a logical corollary of decentralized urbanization. Rajarhat is not a dream. It is very much a reality today. In fact, it is a planned project which is currently being implemented. Do you recognize a pattern here? Something that echoes the glories of our ancient civilization. Urban centers were being developed even then. Fairly straightforward and yet incredibly advanced for the times. Independence, self-sufficiency and self-reliance were the watchwords of that bygone era. Today, things are radically different, but the focus is once again on total independence and self-sufficiency. Here, we have assembled for Rajarhat, experts drawn from different disciplines, engineers, architects, city planners, consultants, economists, environmentalists, and more. In the meantime, she suggestion to one of the IIT and the ecology director, you team, the director school of planning to consult for a Department would take a waterway, discharge, particle trans for the glacier with a good near the Pasha Water Bochi, only the city is designed to have a kind of project. They put on cars, she has a shoe, have a approach to catch that, even an approach road. And after the Yaga Rukinapal, the Hedwig Kunta, you call it like a fast party Jahoche. Now, why Rajar Hut? What needs would it fulfill? If that's the question uppermost in your mind, you probably have the answer already. We have to take the pressure off Calcutta and of you. If industry has come to us, if in fact an industrial revival has taken place, we need to cope with it, allow it to find full expression, and Rajarhat would provide that key. Now tell me, where exactly is Rajarhat? Now picture this, 2,700 hectares of land empty space just outside Calcutta's eastern boundary, north of Salt Lake, only five kilometers from the international airport at Dundam, 10 kilometers from the existing business district at Calcutta. It is connected to North Bengal and to the Bangladesh border by National Highway 34 and 35, and to the rest of India on the west bank of the river Hooghly across the Bidashagor Shetu and the Kona Expressway leading to National Highway 6. The Trans River connection will be further augmented with the completion of the Belgoria Expressway and the proposed new bridge to be constructed near the existing Vivekananda Shetu. There is scope for providing a railway connection to the new town 
from the main line as an outer ring railway line has been proposed for the purpose. Now tell me, what exactly will the Rajahat project contain? Will all of us enjoy the same facilities? Absolutely. The future city will provide for housing. In other words, living accommodation for LIG, MIG, and HIG communities, and not forgetting non-resident Indians. This mega project, New Calcutta, will not only accommodate one lakh dwelling in it for different income groups, but will also go a long way in meeting some of the demands of this emerging new situation. The government, the joint sector companies, the private entrepreneurs, and the people in general have come together for the implementation of this project. Some others would live in the service villages that are going to come up around the periphery of the project area. Imagine one lakh dwelling units, homes for half a million families, allocated in blocks, bounded by arterial roads, with all possible amenities built into it. Parks, playgrounds, recreation centers, schools, Medicare centers, shopping complexes, everything that you or your children may need today and tomorrow. Occupying pride of place is a central business district and within the complex will be an industrial zone which would have non-hazardous and non-polluting industries so that you can live and work in Rajarat. But the most attractive thing of all would be the fact that the complex would have more than 50% open space. Room for you to breathe. No dread of some unwanted structure shooting up and blocking off the sunlight and the southern breeze. Well, exactly how are we going to go about building the future city at Rajahat? Let's ask those who are burning the midnight oil at the drawing office or slogging it out in the muddy fields around the site. Planning work is nearing completion. Blueprints are being drawn up for onward implementation. Around 50% of the project area is required to be kept under open space and water bodies. The open space in this project would be structured open space time especially along the Bagjula and Krishnapur Canal. Preliminary work has begun at the site and one is happy with the progress up to this point. The pace will pick up as soon as one implements what one has on the drawing boards. Is your clock running? Well, then plans for the project are running with it. This project, currently under implementation, is divided into specific phases. The first phase is due to be completed within the next five years. And you will be able to begin living there very soon. And finally, the critical support systems. A city does not grow out of nothing. A lot of preparation goes into its making. It's the same with Rajahat. An elaborate drainage system has been worked out. Existing canal systems are being developed. Namely, the Bagjola Canal is being re-excavated and widened into the Kultigam. Best of all, Rajarat will offer you an environmental ambience that is truly extraordinary. In fact, care has been taken to preserve the green areas of this region. Listen, are we touching the berries? No, absolutely not. The project area lies outside the nationally declared wetlands and waste recycling region. Isn't there any danger of the industry polluting the environment? We've already talked about the free open space that will be left in the project. Now, Picture, in addition to this, the green area that would run through the project. If 
between residential areas and business district, between the business district and the industrial zone, between the city and its surroundings. Are you dreaming? Wake up! This is reality, remember? Of course. Just look there. Udrait Mauja da Goda. Udrait Mauja, sir. Who does it say? Say, Dari. I said, Sarakam Kuli. Here you go. Sir, Kimone. There are going to Kihoi. Sir, Sutavela Tiki. Bama Muki Raja had to only call for Sunia. তখন ভাব তো মেবুচি রূপ করে কিন্তু আজ বুঝতে পারছি ইরাই এখানকার রাজা হতে চলেছে রাজার হাট সত্যি এখানে বসে শহরে নতুন খবর রাজার হাটে নতুনের দল বাড়ছে বহুল সময় যতই সামনে হাটে তোমার আমার প্রাণের শহরে নতুন খবর রাজার হাটে Tomorrow, my planet, Shahore, no to